Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail in DaVinci Resolve for your YouTube videos, so let's roll the intro. Okay guys, so now that we just put in our main picture, which will be this, then I can add my separate stuff. So let's say I want here a basketball and a drone and a thumbs up so now we're going to go into the edit tab and you're just going to pull this down i'm going to do this this pretty simple we can just pull these because they are pngs that are already cut out we can zoom in zoom out it's just going to make it smaller or larger and you want to put these on top of each other however you want so this looks like we can move the bit higher we're there with the Y and then a bit bigger then a tiny bit lower that looks good the drone I want to show you something pretty cool a nice tool it's very useful here if you want it to be sort of looking more 3D and realistic you can touch these which is pretty much gonna like bend it sort of so you can try doing that to give it a more like 3d in the shot feel okay so now i'm also going to see it looks like light is coming from like in front or behind the camera so i'm just, just gonna add here some light so a really easy way to do that is to just take over here a solid color and go here and make it a bit smaller okay and then we are just gonna want to make it white and then we can move it to about where we want it so we just kind of want it to be straight over there okay and now we're just going to lower the opacity a whole bit and I'm going to cut it out in the color page. Okay, so here you can. So, pretty much, you don't really need to go cut out in the color page if you make it small enough, which is nice. And then you can just make here a bit of a crop, crop, crop and then add some softness and it's not going to look that bad so here you can make it a bit bigger and that does look pretty good so that just gives a bit of like highlight or whatever so let's go into that and then we can add in here a basketball and that we're going to need to make smaller and that has a white thing, so it's going to be a bit harder. So we're going to need to turn color, and then here add a alpha output. Quickly connect that, and then we're going to want to simply go like this and just get our basketball. That did take down the softness to like almost nothing. And then voila, got it, and you can put it here. And again, using this, we can also rotate it, and using the pitch, we can make it look a bit more like in hand, I guess, than how it could look before. Okay, so just fly around with it there, and we want to make it more like that, sit down. So that looks pretty good and then all we need to do now is export it and the way to do that is just doesn't matter what you're doing just press here your right click and then grab still and then you're going to want to do export but before that actually you're going to do control z to um actually no you don't want to do that wait see sorry 
meant to let's just go back this is a good way to teach you guys about something on the time timeline where is it about history and here a redo which is nice so what now what you want to do so let's just I want to look at this yet because we didn't make our timeline resolution 720p. So that's what you should like. They don't allow it to be too large. Then you're going to do grab still. Make sure that it's the one that you did in 720p. Then export. And then you're going to want to export onto wherever you want. You're going to want to make it a JPEG. Give it a name. Export. And then it's going to be wherever you put it. Okay, so thank you guys. See you guys in the next video. Please comment if you want to see something and see you guys next time.